Hey guys, what is going on? This is Ip of HQA TV casting the SEUEdit.eu tournament number 17. We have Napalm versus Burnick. Napalm is the purple Zerg. Burnick is the blue Protoss. This is round of one. I mean, yeah, this is not the round of one. This is actually round number one. My apologies. It is like 8 a.m. my time. I literally just woke up to cast this. So, BO1s right now because, well, this is the first round. I believe it's the round of 64. First map again, MLG Metalopolis, Napalm spawning over in the 9 o'clock position, and Burnick spawns in the 3 o'clock position, so they do spawn on cross positions. It was MLG Metalopolis, so, well, they can't spawn on close. And one interesting thing is, I thought I saw it said MLG Metal. Maybe they only picked regular Metalopolis. It's supposed to be MLG, but I don't see the random supply depot at the bottom of this ramp. Maybe it's a new version of MLG, and they decide, wait, we can just put, like, a rock here or something and prevent building we don't have to use a supply depot so I don't know I thought it was MLG but maybe it isn't we'll see what opening napalm does do he did win the last sermon so he is the defender Burnick I don't know too much about him going over the APM tab we do see both players spamming away at above 200 APM Burnick though keeping it up but napalm looks like he is running out of steam dropping down to 70 and again APM doesn't mean anything but it is just something to oogle at in the early game. We do have this Kona boost going down on these probes. And this is after patch 1.3.3. And wow, I gotta fix my game settings. Let's just turn these HP buzz on normal. And I'll fix my cursor in just like a little bit. Let's see, we have Napalm still uh, just going to be uh, waiting for this overlord. Looks like he did a 10 overlord. So maybe he forgot an overlord. This is the first game he hasn't played in about a week. But yeah, that was a 10 overlord. You do see three drones about to be started there. There they go. The 9 overlord is much, much, much more standard. But every now and then you do see that 10 overlord. Generally when you see that 10 overlord though, you have an extractor trick. So I'm guessing Napalm kind of just forgot that overlord. It's not a big deal. It doesn't set you back too far. It's just not as optimal. We do have another pylon being built right next to this one. And uh, the... Probe should have just stayed there so he could throw down that Simon Nesquid, but instead he just enjoys running. Runs all the way back to the middle of the patch and then goes back to throw down that Simon Nesquid. It looks like he is running a relay race. Now he is going back. Is he going to go back to throw something else? No, he is not. He is just going to chill for a little bit. That Zealot is going to be coming out of the gateway. And we do have some lings on the way. So I think I missed it. Maybe that was an 8 pool. And again, my apologies, it was a really early pull from Napalm, so it looks like he's kind of cheesing his way through this tournament. And again, 8 in the morning my time, so first cast, just woke up. Not as alert as I should be. We do have a lot of lings, though, just running around the base of Burnick. And Burnick is losing some mining time, but let's see how many probes does he have mining. He has 8 probes mining. We have 14 drones, so... Right now, it looks like Napalm is getting a little bit more minerals. We do have that pylon going up just to prevent these links from running more in if he did build more links. Another Zealot is being built. I don't like that choice at all. I would love to see a Stalker built after that Zealot just because the Stalker, these links don't have speed. And nice work by those probes getting the ninja surround on them and taking them out. So, well, Burnick is showing, well, that uh, Zealot was a good call. I was saying the Stalker can just run around and uh, kill all the lanes off pretty easily. We do have another gateway coming up from Burnick, and he is going to be throwing down his expansion. Doesn't really look like he has too far behind. 20 drones versus 20 probes, and he's got this hatch up. The only problem is uh, going over the lost tab. You can see both players lost even numbers, so Maybe it's completely even right now. Both players 28 food. So yeah, right now it is even. We do have drones mining gas and a roach one going down. And more links look like they want to go and attack. And I think this is, maybe this isn't a solid wall. It looks like something can fit through here. So this pilot was not blocking it. It's kind of hard to tell when it's whooping in. And maybe it is. So if Bunnik wants this zealot out... He may have to destroy this pylon, which is actually a pretty big deal because that's going to cost him 100 minerals and definitely some time. Can slow down a timing push just a little bit. We do have Napalm vomiting lava on that hatch and going to be 
throwing down the creep tumor. More lings coming by, just four lings. He's just going to poke in to see what Burnick is doing, if he's going to retaliate with like a mass zealot rush. And he comes in and sees two zealots. And if he pops in one more time, he will see the sentries out now. That's going to be two zealots and three sentries. And there's lings. If Napalm does look and he pulls back so he does know, two zealots and two sentries right now. It is a three-gate expansion. And Napalm is doing lings and roaches, I believe. Maybe... Just doing this layer so he can get the Glio Reconstitution for his Roaches, which will increase their speed and help dramatically. The expansion is going up, so there is a timing window for Napalm to go in with a lot of Roaches and a few Lings to take out this Nexus. I'm not sure if he's going to miss it because he did do, I'm going to say, an 8 pool early on. So that could really slow his build down. If you do see a 3 gate expansion, you can do a timing attack with Roaches and Lynx and sometimes just take the game right there. And generally, every time you can cause massive damage to your opponent. We do have the love of completely vomit. This queen is just sitting idle right now. This one did vomit and uh, is going to be going to go for that creep. I thought he accidentally used that queen to vomit on both these. And we do have the Evo Chamber going up, so it looks like Roach play. 3 gate expansion. Looks like Burnick is going for that forge and another gateway. Has a pretty nice wall, so those lings will not be running up into the main anytime soon. But he just has a lot of sentries. So Roaches right now would do a lot of damage to this, but he is getting a pylon, so I thought that was going to be a photon cannon. That speed for the Roaches is done. He is getting 10 lings right now. And those lings do have speed as well, and going for his third base, so he knows fast expansion, and I am just going to be mackling up. You're not going to be attacking anytime soon, so I am going to get this hatchery, but you do have to be careful. These sentries can just cause massive, massive amounts of headaches for any Zerg play, because Zerg units are mainly melee, and those sentries kind of just make melee units look a bit silly. And we have some roaches and lings, so it looks like Napalm is going to try to do this little timing attack. He does have a large army, then his opponent. And these sentries, as long as there's no stalkers, that won't be doing too much to the roaches. But three stalkers are coming out. The stalkers do have a range of six. These roaches have a range of four. So, well, those four seals can easily make those stalkers reign supreme. And looks like the main statue is going down. And those roaches going to come in and take out this forge before this plus one finishes. That'll be pretty big. And he sees that being Chronobus. He wants to take this down. In addition to taking this down, it does open up a pathway into the main. And looks like he's going to attack this gas next. Just slowing down the gas from Burnick. And here we go. Roaches getting good hits. Could have taken out a sentry right there. There he goes. He comes and finishes the job. That zealot is weak. And uh, the army is showing that Burnick has a much larger army. These roaches should go back. And just going to try to take out a pylon that's not going to unpower anything. But it will not be supply capping. And looks like he is going to go back for this assimilator. Will go for any units he can. These roaches are slower than the stalkers. So they can't really run away. The stalkers will just catch up to them and take them out. So Napalm has to decide what he wants to kill. And Napalm did some damage there, not too much. Did take out that forge, so no cannons are out. And that plus one did get delayed quite a bit. And that's actually a bigger deal than it may seem. We do have plus one armor for a Zerg player. And he does have his third base up. Looks like he is producing more and more roaches. With the flying attack level one, so it looks like we may see corruptors or mutas very, very soon. And you have a random spore crawler going down right here. Maybe expecting DTs. And the observer is coming out. Maybe that's going to just pick off the observer. Because who is going to have a freaking spore crawler here? The observer is just going to be on its merry way. Going over to see what it can see. And then a random spore crawler goes and kills. And he's like, wait, there's a spore crawler there? That's not protecting a base. That's not protecting anything. It's protecting a creep tumor that's not even in the lead. I have no clue why that spore crawler is there. But it may take out an observer, which will be pretty cool. We do have a bunch of roaches now just moving around. Looks like he is going to look at the third base, see if it is there for Napalm, and find out it is not. This overlord, though, should be just positioned right here instead of right here. Maybe he's just looking so he can see units come out, but if he was positioned right here, he could see when that third base goes up immediately. And oh my god, 
The per oh no, these roaches stopped. I was gonna say the probe is gonna throw down this nexus. The roaches are really close. They could force that cancel really quick or actually take it out. We do have a fourth base coming up for Napalm. And the Overlord does see pylons now, so the roaches have an idea. Gonna come in and see if they can snipe this nexus really quick. And we do have 600 middles right now, so let's see if he cancels it. Did take down the pylons first, giving Burnick a heads up. And this will be canceled as you do see him going back to 1200. Napalm is at 1500. Should throw down a macro hatch at his main. This queen, well, doing a pretty good job of vomiting. But whenever you get this high in minerals and gas, you need to do a macro hatch because you're slacking somewhere on your vomits. And macro hatches are not bad. I see Idra do them all the time because, well, throwing down that hatchery is a lot better than floating any sort of minerals. It looks like he is building two mutas right now with five overlords because he is supply capped. And then he may just mass more mutas or lings because, again, he does have those minerals. Two mutas flew in, didn't really do too much. Looks like they... Three kills and one kill. Is that unpowered? Yeah, they took out a pylon, which unpowers the robo facility. And that's the trouble with not having blink on your stalkers. As you do see, they funnel through. And it, it's really tough for them to defend against mutas in the main until they do have blink. So we should see, like, a Twilight Council go down so we can get blink for his stalkers. We do have more mutas coming. Looks like they're going to try to take out a pylon over here. This nexus does get thrown down yet again. Roaches are at 1-2. Burnick is at 1-0. We do have the armor on the way and two weapons on the way for the air of the Zerg. And that infestation pit is just about done. We have five mirrors over here that can take out this pylon and cancel the Nexus again. But lots of stalkers coming up from Burnick. Going in this army tab, you do see Burnick has a larger army. But he is behind by like 30 drones. So if he doesn't win here or do any damage... I think Napalm is just going to steamroll ahead, but this base is going to go down no matter what. Nothing you can do there, and that's going to be a lot of roaches and lings. It's all going to come down to the force fields. Lings do get in and do run away immediately. They did burn some force fields. The Nexus is down. Burnick is taking out the extractors, and these roaches just waiting. Wants to go in as soon as those force fields are done. More force fields going up. Mutas and roaches doing the damage now. Guardian Shield also goes up. And these roaches are just in so close. They're doing a lot of damage to the stalkers. But there's still units in the back here that can't really do anything. But it looks like Napalm does take that force out. And Burnick does GG. Napalm will be advancing. This was BO1s.